Korea, like when it's summer, people don't want eating anything hot. So today we're gonna make bibim naengmyeon. Yeah, now, um, bibim, bibim naengmyeon. Naengmyeon. See, bibim naengmyeon. Um, so normally you can get naengmyeon. Naengmyeon is this buckwheat noodle. But the thing is, um, I couldn't find the the normal one, so I found okay. the instant one, and oh. I'm just gonna use only the buckwheat noodle. So And after it Ooh, boils, it looks like a bird's nest in there. Mm -hmm. It's like round. Look at yeah. that. Look how cool that is. And you don't use any of this? No. Oh. Well, we should go through all the ingredients first. Oh, actually. yeah. So Do we have that instant noodles. Yeah. Uh, we have a quarter white onion, yep. a, like a tiny little piece ginger. of a ginger, one clove of garlic. I have some kimchi, mm -hmm. uh, probably like quarter of a cup yeah. of kimchi, uh, one tablespoon of um, chili, powder. chili pepper, a hard boiled egg, a cucumber, okay. green a onion, a quarter cucumber, green onion, and for sauces we're going to need a bit of gochujang, okay. toasted sesame, vinegar, black pepper, sugar, sugar, and soy sauce. That's it! Korean soy sauce this time. Gonna do so is, all I'm in charge of is boiling the noodles. We'll just wait for the water yes, to boil. Yes. Um, I'm gonna pour a tablespoon of what do you call this? The chili powder. Oh, yeah. Chili powder. And what you can do while I'm making the sauce is you can chop these up. Okay. With a chopper, 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 chopper. Quarter is too much, so I'm gonna have that. Okay. And you can what you can do is you can you know like. Um, great these and you just use the juice but because we're so lazy okay. we're gonna use the whole thing. A knob of ginger and the garlic. garlic. Okay I think it's boiling. My job has come. Yes. Put it in the noodles. A big tablespoon of gochujang. Okay. A big Spicy. big tablespoon. Okay watch because I have a little trick. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then you just go. I'm gonna add about one and a half tablespoon of vinegar. Actually, another tablespoon. I like it. You like it bitter. Yeah, no, bitter. Not bitter, but like sour. Sour. Also, a tablespoon of soy sauce. Okay. Oh, so what do you cook these until? Like, what consistency? You can't tell. You just need to time it for okay. to, for three minutes. Three minutes, then. So just cook them for three minutes. Um, I'm gonna. Oh, I got something in my eye. Uh oh. And I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna add a like a sprinkle of sugar. Some people like it sweet. Some people don't mm. like it sweet. I don't know. It's only all up to you. Bit of black pepper. Okay. Just a little bit. Something is poking my eye. Uh oh. Let me see. I think it was my hair. Yeah. And I'm gonna have a sprinkle so, of meat so seeds. Mix it all up. Okay. I think we put too much garlic. There's no such thing. Okay, I think this has been three minutes. Yep, honest. you can wash it with cold water okay. now. Drain it and wash it with cold water. I'm gonna slice up some cucumber. And I want some julienne. Slice them thin. Like, cut them in lengths. I like these noodles. What are they made out of? Because they're brown. I don't know. I'm gonna dig them from the. I know, from the trash can. What kind of noodles? Because they're brown noodles. Potato and buckwheat. We don't leave a bit on the on the side for garnish. Okay. But uh, the rest goes in there. Okay. I've got some kimchi. Yeah. Finely chop them. Because you don't want like a big honk of it. Honk. Green onion. Or spring onion. Spring <laughs> onion. Just a little bit. Mm. This then, smells delicious. We add the sauce and we mix it all up. Now I need to put it on a bowl nicely. Hard boiled ooh, egg in half. We're gonna put that on top. Okay. Add some fresh ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cucumber on top okay. as well. Yep. Sprinkle a bit of sesame. Sesame and that's done. Delicious! It's a very quick. You can't pronounce it, but. Bibing nengnyan. Bibing nengnyan. So if you have like some pears, slice them up, 
Put it in there. If you have some good. radish, uh, pickle it. And what about apples? You can put apples, apples too. Yeah. Stuff like that. So that's your summertime dish. <laughs>